White flies are tiny, bothersome pests that attack a variety of crop and ornamental plants. Like aphids and scales, white flies suck the sap out of leaves, causing them to weaken and eventually die out. These pests also produce honeydew, a sugary substance that can attract other insects, like ants, and promote the growth of sooty mold. White flies may be tiny, but their large infestation numbers can kill plants quickly. So in this video, we'll show you how to get rid of white flies so your ornamental gardens and landscaping remain untouched, unharmed, and green all season. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about white fly control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. White flies are tiny insects, but you should still be able to spot them with the naked eye. They typically grow up to one-tenth of an inch in length. The adults somewhat resemble small moths, with their wings covered in a white, waxy coating. The actual bodies will vary in color depending on the species, but they typically range from pale green to yellow to white. If you spotted adult white flies, you're likely to see eggs and nymphs. Eggs are tiny, ovular capsules laid in circular or horseshoe-shaped formations, and nymphs resemble scales, both in body shape and the fact that they don't move. Nymphs are translucent, however, and the adult white flies emerge from these nymphal cases, leaving the empty skins behind. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm the presence or find hotspots of activity. If your ornamental plant leaves are growing paler and yellow, then check for white flies on the undersides of the leaves. White flies target a wide variety of plants, but all species spend their lives underneath the plant leaves. Other signs of infestation include honeydew drippings, increased ant or wasp activity, and the presence of sooty mold. Sooty mold is a black fungal substance that forms from rotting honeydew. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. In order to get rid of your whitefly infestation, you'll use a combination of regular pruning and long-term residual insecticides. On trees, shrubs, crops, and other ornamental foliage, simply remove the infested leaves you found during your inspection. This will help to stop the white flies from spreading to the other uninfested parts. Check your plants for pruning regularly, about once a week. Once you've finished your first round of pruning, you'll need to apply a long-lasting residual insecticide like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a bifenthrin liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to control white flies and more than 70 other pests. This product will need to be mixed with water before application, so we recommend you mix and apply it with a handheld pump sprayer. The application rate for Supreme IT is 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Use the higher rate in severe infestations. Once your solution is evenly mixed, spray the tops and bottoms of ornamental leaves to the point of wet, but not runoff. If applying Supreme IT, do not apply the solution to any plants grown for consumption. Wait until treated ornamentals are completely dry before any irrigation can occur and before allowing children, people, or pets to come in contact. Labeled pests, including white flies, that come in contact with the spray or the residual will have their nervous systems impacted and will eventually die in several hours. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop white fly activity is to make sure it can't happen. When watering ornamentals, be sure to spray underneath the leaves about once a week to disturb any potential breeding or gathering activity. Continue to regularly prune away any discolored, wilted, or diseased leaves to maintain your plant's health. Consider using the right fertilizer to boost your plant's health and help it fight off pest damage. Finally, maintain a regular insecticide spray schedule to protect your plants year-round. Supreme IT has a residual effect that lasts for up to 90 days and should be applied every three months. White flies are small insects that can cause serious damage to plants in your yard and potentially attract other pests like ants or wasps. But there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop white flies from infesting your plants, and we offer free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. 
and if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.